Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you find the surface area of a solid uh, with a hole that goes all the way through. Uh, in this uh, scenario, we have a rectangular prism uh, with a rectangular prism uh, that's a hole that goes right through it. Uh, so what we're going to do is, well, first thing is, let's uh, try to remember what's the formula for the surface area of a rectangular prism. Well, surface area is two times the base area. There's two bases that are congruent and parallel plus base perimeter times the distance between the two bases. So there's our formula. And we're going to use it twice for this situation because we have two rectangular prisms. Uh, so it says the note, the hole goes all the way through. So let's draw this hole as if we have x-ray vision. And just do that, do this right here. And let's draw that. And we have this line that goes all the way down. And we'll just connect it here. So look at that. We have x-ray vision. We can see uh, that hole going all the way through. Look at that. My lines are as straight as possible. OK, so um, there's the scenario. Uh, so next thing we'll do is it says find the surface area. Surface area is how many squares fits on the surface. So let's pretend that there isn't a hole here. Let's just say that this right here, this hole is covered up and it's covered up and we just it just says find the surface area of this rectangular prism with no hole. So let's do that. So um Let's let's make our bases the top and the bottom faces. Uh, so uh, this says the length from here to here is four. The length from here to here is four, and so it looks like it's a square. Uh, so the the area of a square is base times height or base times base because they're the same. So it's sixteen. Four times four is sixteen, times two um, for our two bases, the bottom and the top plus the base perimeter. Uh, so it's four. Well, let's just write it over here. So this is four, this is four, four, and four. Base perimeter is the distance around. So four plus four plus four plus four is also 16. Uh, and times H, the distance between the two bases, which is three. Okay, so Let's use our trusty old calculator, making sure that we type in the correct things. So 2 times 16 is 32, plus 16 times 3 is 48. And so we'll just add these two. 48 plus 32 is 80. So... The surface area of this outer prism is 80. Okay, now let's let's deal with this hole that's also a prism. Um, but this one's a little different because what it's, this hole is really doing is it takes away some surface and it creates a new surface. Uh, if you saw the previous video uh, with a rectangular prism and a cylinder, uh, so this circle takes away the surface from this rectangle. We flip it over. This circle takes away surface from this rectangle, but because it drills all the way through, it creates a new surface on the inside. So uh, from the cylinder, the two bases, which are circles, take away, uh, but uh, this lateral area adds a surface. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, color this in red and color this in red because these squares take away from the surface, but this inner part right here creates new surface. So if we use our same formula, uh, which is... 2b plus ph, and we're going to apply this to this inner uh, prism, which is a, the hole. Um, remember, these right here take away from the surface of 
the outer prism. So we'll make this a negative because it takes away. Uh, so now let's just plug some things in. So B represents base area. We're going to use the top and bottom faces for this, uh, this prism right here, this rectangular prism. Uh, so uh, it says the length of here is two feet. So length of here is two feet. So two times two is four. And we'll bring down that negative two. Don't forget the negative this time because these squares take away from this big square right here. Plus P is base perimeter. Uh, we use the top and bottom uh, to be our bases. So two plus two plus two plus two, plus two is eight. And the distance between these two, we could figure it out from this length right here. It's the same thing, so it's three. And so let's just multiply. Uh, negative two times four is negative eight, plus eight times three is 24. Okay, so I'm not gonna combine this yet, just to, sh just to show you what's going on. So uh, we have our surface area of this entire prism without the hole, which is 80. And then we'll, we'll write this negative eight plus 24. So we have the, the entire surface area, which is 80. We're taking away eight squares because uh, eight unit squared because of these two right here. This square is taken away, this square is taken away. And, but we're adding the 24 because that inner surface on the inside when the hole goes all the way through creates a new surface. So now let's just combine all three of these. Uh, 80 minus eight plus 24 is 96. So there's our final answer, 96 feet square. That's the number of squares that fits on all of the surfaces uh, that if we dip this into paint and the paint touched all the surfaces, uh, it would take 96 squares to fill up all the surfaces. Hope that helps. Have a great day.